currently being bitten by piglets in Lahav Kibbutz in Israel. Ah, in Israel, I'm being bitten by the pigs here because <laughs> I'm here checking out whether it's true that Israelis lift pigs off the land of Israel because it's illegal to grow them on the land. They take them off the ground. Not on platforms, really high up. So they won't touch their holy land. The land of Israel is it's holy. Uh, is holy yeah. Our land is holy and uh, they put on their uh, legs. The platform. Platforms, yes. My first impression of Lachav was plenty of pigs and plenty of platforms. But to find out more, I sought out Dan Ratner, head of something called the Lachav Institute of Animal Research. The story about uh, keeping pigs raised from the ground is not true. The pigs are raised on the ground. In some places later on you will see pigs on slates, but that's because of the practices of pig industry and not because of religious laws of any kind. Dan explained that a 1962 law made it illegal to grow pigs outside designated Christian areas or scientific research facilities. The Hav Kibbutz started raising pigs in the 1950s. In 1962, it founded a scientific research facility. Today, it is the only Jewish pig raising facility in Israel. The legal people aren't interested in what kind of research you are doing or not doing. They are interested mainly in the economic point of view, and according to the economic point of view, it isn't allowed to make profit of the animals. And beside this, you may do whatever you like, because to define what is really scientific experiment and what is a fake experiment is not easy today. So we have the herd here and the pigs aren't used for research or used for research without spoiling their meat are later consumed by people and people that aren't religious or people that are Christians which are allowed to use it should have an approach for it. Jewish religious law says that the pig contains an impure spirit so there's much opposition to what's occurring at Lachav. I travelled to Jerusalem and spoke to Amon, a student at one of the many yeshiva there. Jews in general don't, don't have a problem with kibbutzim uh, um, growing, growing, growing any animal for science. Science is a very important thing. I'm not sure that those kibbutzim are really doing it for that, for that, uh, for that purpose, the purpose of uh, uh, raising them for science. This happens to be a, a democratic state. People should have freedom. But um, freedom is a relative thing. There is freedom and there is democracy. But um, certain things are restricted. For example, prostitution. Prostitution is something that people still consider to be um, immoral, a detriment to society. In the same way, uh, many people in this country believe that raising pigs is uh, something that's detrimental to the identity of the society. Providing pork for tourists and Arabs, I don't think that's a problem. The real issue is it's not Arabs that are raising these, these pigs, it's Jews. And because of that fact, you have Jews eating them. Should there be pig farming on kibbutz in Israel? Well, it's not really for a non-Jewish 10-day tourist to say. But what I will say is that to the pig that ate my microphone, to the pig that pissed on my bag, and the pig that bit my leg, good luck for the future.